Everybody, Miles Luna here. We're uh, sitting down with Sneaky Games. I got Billy Kane and Andrea Humphrey right here telling us a little bit about the new games that they're designing for Facebook. How are you guys doing today? We're doing really well, as a matter of fact. This is a great time, and it's a great place to show off our brand new games. Definitely. Is this y'all's uh, first time at Screenburn? Uh, it's actually uh, my second time at Screenburn, but for, uh, for Sneaky Games, this is our first time. Uh, in fact, the game that you're looking at behind us is the very first time that the game has been shown in public, so we're really excited about it. Very exciting, getting a scoop here. So uh, why don't you tell us a uh, little bit about your company, when did you guys get started, and what kind of stuff have you all been working on? Um, a couple of months ago, um, me and a few partners, we decided we'd get together and start Sneaky Games. We decided we were going to get into doing Facebook. Um, it seems like a really exciting uh, venue. The games are really neat. We get a chance to interact directly with the customers. People can be online, they can talk to us through the forums, and we can make changes immediately. We have two games that are out, Strife of Sevens and Fantasy Kingdoms. And I just really can't say enough about how much fun it is to direct, directly interact with the customers. We really believe in making that, the people happy. That's awesome, taking social gaming to a whole new level here. Angie, why don't you tell us a little bit about the games that y'all have been working on? Here you go. Happily. Um, the game that you can see behind me here is Fantasy Kingdoms. It is our baby, the AAA title that we put out. Um, we are putting a new spin on the Builder game. Right now, Facebook doesn't have a lot to offer um, that will appeal to our mainstream audience. So this allows you to build up your fantasy kingdom. So you'll plant magical crops on the ground. They'll come up. You can see we have some cattails up here in the corner, some eye of newt with some little eyeballs rolling around. And after they're ready to harvest, um, you can harvest them, you get mana, and then you can build awesome stuff for your kingdom. The castles, there's a bunch of different pieces. Right now we have our fantasy castle in there. We're planning to expand a lot on that. So look for spooky castles, a princess castle, lost boys castle, something for everyone. I've dabbled in Facebook games in my days, and uh, you know I've seen, I've, you know, I've seen Farmville, and I've seen all the other things, and. I've seen the lonely black sheep. I think we all have seen the lonely black sheep in our newsfeed. But this is pretty cool. We got this sweet looking witch or, or wizard dress or I don't know the I don't know the, I don't want to offend her. I hopefully she can't hear me, but going around doing her thing. Um, and I, I take it it's on Facebook, you guys are going for, you know, a social experience, kind of more of a, a casual type gamer approach. Um, so we're starting out with some stuff that people are familiar with. You're looking at this, you're probably saying this looks quite a bit like Farmville. However, we want to get people in so they're familiar with what's going on, they can play the game. We're rapidly going to expand beyond that and push the envelope. We want to hear what our customers want, we want to hear what Facebook people want to see, what's going to make the gameplay experience more fun for them. Um, you can probably get in here and play for 10 to 15 minutes and have a pretty good experience, but you can also extend that gameplay experience by us adding new features. So we want to hear what are those features? What's going to make you want to keep coming back to the game and entertain you? Um, this is really an entertainment experience for our customers. What's the What's the other title that you guys have been developing? Um, we're also working on Strife of Sevens. Um, this is more of an RPG role-playing game stats based game. You can go in, you can duel other players, you can get your friends together and attack a big boss monster. So there's a lot of com competition with that. I mean, we played around the office and it's like, who can do the most damage to this <laughs> dragon in a certain amount of time? And uh, some of the programmers get pretty mad when they get beat by a producer. Uh, <laughs> yes, they do. <laughs> so it's fun competition on that game. We've enjoyed that a lot too. <laughs> nice, gotta love the office rivalry. So, Fantasy Kingdom, Strive of Sevens, two separate games, but encompassing the same world, right? Yeah, as a matter of fact, it seemed very important to us if we're going to build brands, if we're going to build something that's going to last, we wanted to make sure that there was actually a connection between the two games. So if you're looking at Fantasy Kingdoms, you see more of an idyllic setting. Um, everybody's in harmony with one another, you know, the, the different witch birthrights, of which there are seven. They, uh, they actually all work in concert with one another, and they're, you know, they're, everything is really cool. Well, Strife of Sevens happens after a cataclysmic event that actually occurs in the world, which we're not, you know, we're not sharing with everybody Spoiler yet. Alert. I know what well, that'll probably be another future game when that actually happens. Um, but Strife is actually after that, which is why it kind of gives us the ability to have, you know, the different witch clans fighting against one another, be able to battle one another, and uh, for us to bring in some really cool weapons and interesting things like that. So uh, I noticed we have two lovely ladies sitting here at the end of the couch. Uh, what are y'all's names, please? My name's Katie. Kara. And you guys are sporting some uh, fashionable Fantasy Kingdom shirts right here. What's uh, what's with y'all? Seem a little color coordinated. 
These shirts that we have on right now actually correspond to the birth rights. We kind of made them so they'd be a fun thing. So we can show you the backs of them so you can kind of get an idea of yeah. the personalities of our characters. Okay, let's do it. Yeah, so what is what is blue represent? Is this water, this ice? Air. This is air? Oh, okay. I was totally wrong. <laughs> okay. So uh, what's what's with the, the air? What, what's with y'all's clan? Yeah, sure. What's on the back? Oh, I think can I stand up? What is it? Okay. I can take your breath away. <laughs> I like it. Are you digging it? I see where it. I think I know where this is going. Okay, cool. Okay, red. I'm gonna go out on a limb here. Is it? Is it? Is it like fire? Or is it? Okay, thank God. Because if I, I just couldn't stand to get another one wrong on television. Okay, play with my fire, and you're going to get burned, fire witch. And uh, so we. Uh, what are what is what are the other five uh, witch types? Um, I have on one of them right now, actually. Oh, let's see so it. This is Ice, heart of ice, or sometimes nice, frosty bitch. <laughs> I'm starting to see a trend here. Yeah, we're not. We don't want to take ourselves too seriously. I like it. Uh, I, I think I might. Uh, I don't know. Me personally, I mean, let's just look really fashionable. I might. I might invest in some. I might find a couple of those. You know, I got some friends that would probably like it. Friends. I mean, not not me. I mean, although I don't know. I have been told I. I look good in red. I don't I'm know. Sure I just rock, rock a, a fire witch shirt. Oh man, it feels so good to hear that from you. Well, thank thanks again for sitting down with us. You better believe it. Sneaky Games, South by Southwest, 2010.